Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We've got some good bullish and bearish recommendations today because of the schizophrenic nature of the market. As we can see, after a bullish engulfing signal, right on the 50 day moving average, followed by a doji bouncing up off the 50 doing a left right combo, and then positive trading today up through the 200, the Dow stocks are acting well. On the other hand, the NASDAQ traded lower today, taking you back down below the T-line. This makes two relevant situations. One, that there are sectors or stocks that you want to be short, while there's other stocks and sectors you want to be long. But the overall criteria is that the market's not selling off one way or the other. It's not that everybody's bailing out of the market. They're moving from sector to sector. So the strongest signal in the candlestick universe is your uh, kicker signal. Today, AXSM did a bullish flutter kicker signal. Opened here, closed here. Gapped up yesterday and did a doji. Now, remember the doji rule. The price will usually move in the direction of how they trade after a doji which means it was trading positive in implying there's going to be more upside. It's called a bullish flutter kicker signal because if you took this little flutter out, you've got a strong bullish kicker signal. On the other side, Spotify did a bearish kicker signal at the end of a dumpling top. Remember what we're looking for at the end of a dumpling top, a lot of force to the downside. So, this one would imply that there's going to be a lot more downside, especially if they break this level. So this is what allows candlestick investors to take advantage of a price move with the most profitable trading strategy, whether it's shorting the stock, buying puts, or buying put spreads. And if you're a commodity trader, you can see the best friend signal in live cattle that gapped up through the 50 day moving average. That best friend signal implies there's a lot of force. And the fact that everybody else could see that it got up through the 50 also implies there's going to be more upside. That'll be it. But remember, on October 20th, or October, April 23rd, join us in our option training uh, session. It's a full day training, it's taking you from the beginning of options to very simple strategies like spreads. Uh, debit spreads and credit spreads and applying the appropriate option trades with the appropriate candlestick signals and patterns. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.